Hello to you. Let's do some graphical examples. In the last uh, clip, I did uh, did this one. Let's do uh, let's do a couple more. So this is a firm making a profit. So again, the the steps to to doing all this is we're going to find uh, where marginal cost equals marginal revenue, which is called profit maximization. In this case, it happens at twenty, and then we're going to bring the uh, the price up to where it hits the demand because that's what we can get away with because we're a single price monopolist. So it, that happens at $10. Then we're going to find out how much is the average total cost for that many units. And that happens at $7. So I'm going to make a $3 per unit profit on all of this. And how many, how many am I going to sell? So it's $3 per unit times 20. Okay. And so on this one, I'm going to make this $60 profit. Okay, in case you're asked to do the deadweight loss, it's just the calculation of this triangle. Okay, this is the deadweight loss. Okay, next one. So this one, the uh, average total cost is above the demand curve. So this is a uh, operating at a loss. So we've got a quantity of 20 profit maximization. That's right here. Follow this all the way up to where it hits the demand curve. Demand curve hits it at 10. So this is pr uh, the price for the monopolist. And then the cost for the monopolist is all the way here up at 12. Okay, so here we're going to go um, with uh, we have a two two dollar per unit loss. So we're losing two dollars for every unit that we sell times 20, so we lose 40 dollars. Right. So if this was something very important, you know, a public good or water supply, or electric power, or something like that. Uh, the, this firm might ask the government for a subsidy. They might say, well, we're the only bus system in here, and there's a deposit of externality. So I need you to increase, uh, make up the difference here, right? Or, um, or we're, we're going to we're gonna have to shut down because the average total cost is above whatever the price is, okay? All right, so these are the formulas. If you want more examples, uh, email me. Okay, so remember, uh, total revenue is profit times quantity. Profit is total, or is total revenue minus total cost. Average total cost. Anytime you see average anything, just divide it by quantity. And always remember this profit maximization condition. Okay, let's do uh, one more example here in uh, paint. This is from a table. Okay, so here I've got I've got my quantity and my price. And I've got my total. I want to know what my total revenue is, my fixed cost, my variable cost, my total cost, marginal revenue, marginal cost. If you really want to be an all-star, pause the video, see how much you can do uh, by yourself, and then I'll pick up in a second. Okay. So I'm going to assume that you gave it a shot, at least thought about what's going on. So, you know, maybe it helps you to write down what the formulas are: quantity times price, fixed cost doesn't change once I figure out what that is. Variable cost, I've given you these. Okay, Total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. Marginal cost is the change in total cost over the change in quantity. Uh, whoop, and then I wasn't reading it very carefully. I'd say that this belongs over here. Okay. That's marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is the change in total revenue over the change in quantity. Sorry about that. Okay, we don't have one there. So total revenue is going to be one times eighty. I'm just eighty. I'm just going to fill this in here. Okay, one forty. Uh, one eighty. Uh, Two hundred. One eighty. One forty and eighty. So you can see. Uh, as the, the price goes down, I'm going to sell a lot more, but I'm not making as much revenue. So remember the revenue test, right? Eventually, I'm going to cut my cut my price, and I'm just not going to make more money because it's it's inelastic, okay? Fixed cost, well, let's see what it is. So if, if the variable cost is zero and the total cost is four, then the fixed cost must be four because this was zero, and so that's, that has to be, right? So it's $4 all the way down. Okay, so this is 49, this is 69, 24, okay, this is 18, 13, 10, 8, okay, 
So the marginal cost, if you want to calculate that right here, this is from uh, 4 to 8, this is 4, from 8 to 10, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 20. And then the marginal revenue, we're going to get off this column here. Okay, So marginal revenue for that first one is 80. Then it is 60, 40, 20, 0, negative 20, negative 40, and negative 60. Okay. All right. So um, what has simple, single price monopolist figure this out? You can graph all this if you want. But remember, profit maximizing condition, it says that I'm going to produce until marginal cost equals marginal revenue. So where does that happen? Okay, so here marginal revenue is higher than marginal cost. I'm going to do that one. Again, we're higher than, I'm going to keep producing, keep producing. Now on this fifth unit, fifth unit, I don't get any additional revenue, but I get six additional dollars, right, or in cost, right? So I do not want to produce that one, that one, that one, because in those cases, marginal cost is higher than marginal revenue okay and here marginal revenue is higher than marginal cost so it's not always going to equal uh, where it is right so th so this is how many I'm going to produce here whoops it's happening with my hand here so I'm going to produce do this in green because green is good I'm going to produce four units four units of profit maximization and how much am I going to charge I'm not going to charge five dollars I'm going to charge the monopoly price of fifty dollars okay so uh, this is going to be the price and this is how we figured this out based on a single priced monopoly